welcome to Mondays with Mark. I'm Mark, and this is Smokey Steve and Mark. <laughs> welcome or welcome back. It's really nice to see you. Oh my gosh, on this Monday, and what a Monday it's been. <laughs> but you know what? We are going to have a sweet time tonight because Valentine's Day is on its way. Yep, about what? One month, a little bit less than a month, one month away. Today's the 15th. Valentine's Day is on the 14th, I don't know, somewhere around there. And uh, so I thought it would be great timing to start to get ready for Valentine's Day. We have uh, we have a little DIY we're going to do for some Valentine's Day decor. And specifically, <laughs> uh, decor for the kitchen. I know, right? Like... I don't know, all the little, like the smaller holidays, you know, not so much like Halloween or Christmas, they're the biggies for us, you know, but the, the other holiday is like, I always overlook decorating the kitchen. So I thought, oh, perfect opportunity, we are going to make some Valentine's decor for the kitchen. All right, well, you could use it in any room, but we'll get to that in a minute. And then, oh, we have a sweet treat to make our sweet for Valentine's Day. And this was a viewer-requested uh, recipe. Uh, you know, several viewers requested this recipe, and I know it's been a while, um, too, but I thought it would be just perfect for Valentine's Day. And you never know, we may have some DYKs uh, thrown in here. Know what that is? <laughs> Did you know? You know, interesting facts, things like that. Um, oh, dude, we're just gonna have a really, really good time tonight. So, how the heck are you anyway? How was your weekend? I hope you had a nice weekend. I'll tell you, we had some beautiful weather. Oh, I mean, it was the upper 40s and 50s, like all week long, sunny, beautiful, like light jacket. It was really, really nice. And then yesterday, well, the bitter cold hit. It did. It hasn't, it, it's in the teens and the 20s. I think the high today was 19 here. Um, so it is bitter, bitter cold. And, uh, um, we have snow on the way tonight. I just found this out before I started filming. We're supposed to get uh, four to six inches, um, and it starts at 10 o'clock and goes until, I think it's four in the morning or something like that. And of course, I have to open tomorrow by myself, so I must be on time. So I'm going to set my alarm to get up a little earlier tomorrow, because you know me and being on time. I have a little issue with it. <laughs> but uh, I've been getting better. I've been getting better. It's actually going to be one of my goals once we start. So, um, you know, uh, it, yeah, I should just, I should be on time every day. It's been something that, uh, I don't know, my entire life, I'm on time, but five minutes late, between five and seven minutes late all the time, all the time for everything. I don't know why, what that is. I have no idea. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, now we're certainly not as cold as some of our friends over there in the Midwest. I mean, I saw some of those temperatures, like, in the negative, like, negative 20 in Chicago. Like, what? Um negative 10 degrees, like, it, it's just, uh, yeah, winter's here, winter's here, so, um, I don't know, and you know what, like, yesterday and today was all gray, it's that gray January bitter cold, you know, and that type of weather can really affect your mood, uh, you know, and, uh, and those of us that have, like, you know, uh, rheumatological things going on, it can affect us physically as well, and, um, I don't know, so, you know what, we are going to, we're gonna fight that today, yes, because we're going to, we're gonna, we're gonna, let's, um, Mm, mm, let's let, let's let's make some happiness tonight, okay? So, uh, you know, with our with our DIY and our recipe, yes, that's what we're going to do. Because you know, you know my my thought on this. You know, even if you're not really a decorator, I encourage you to decorate a little bit because you know, there's nothing like you know, you, you take a look at it and you know, gives you a little chuckle or it it just lifts the spirit just a little bit. You know, add a little something different to look at. You know, and it doesn't matter whether you just buy your decorations or make some homemade. Um, but if you do make them homemade, you have that added little, like, benefit there of, of being creative, maybe using a part of your brain that you don't use all the time, especially if you're not a DIYer, you know? Um, and then you have that little sense of accomplishment after you're done, you know? So, I don't know. I, I, I think we should get right to this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to head over into the workshop, and we're going to put together a really adorable um, Valentine's Day decor piece, okay? And like I said, it is for our kitchen, but I'm going to tell you uh, how you can change it up a little bit. Maybe you could hang it right on your front door too. So come on, let's head over to the workshop. So yes, 
yes, we are in the workshop, <laughs> and we do. We have a really cute piece to make for our Valentine's Day uh, decor, specifically our kitchen. Although, like I said, this project could also be used somewhere else in your house, pretty much any other room in the house, but I really think it would look nice on the front door as well, uh, in place of a wreath or something, okay? So, let's get started. The first thing we need is burlap and a kitchen tray. Now, the burlap, I got these. They have these at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. They have three different colors there, and I decided to go with this off-white color for our project, okay? Now, before we use the burlap, we're definitely going to want to unroll it or unfold it and iron it, okay, before we use it. Now, as far as the trays go, these are perfect. Um, these are plastic, and uh, actually, they have these at, at the Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and Family Dollar. Even Walmart has these, and they're on clearance. These were 90 cents, yo. <laughs> now, if yours happen to have a, uh, a fall pattern or a Christmas pattern or any other pattern on it, as long as it doesn't go up the edges like this, you're just fine. But if it does, just give it a quick uh, spray of uh, paint, like say white or red or pink, something, you know, valentine -y there, okay? You know what? They even sell uh, uh, cardboard, like pretty heavy duty cardboard trays like this at party stores too, which would work good as well. But we want the background to be like, you know, valentine's color, white, red, pink, something like that, okay? So, and, uh, and, and I actually... Um, I actually am using this white tray that I got at the uh, Dollar Tree. Uh, it was $5, and uh, it's larger than the plastic ones, and it's wood, and it's already painted white. Next, I just got my uh, burlap, and I measured it to fit the bottom of our tray, and I, I cut it out to fit in the bottom. Then I made a little concoction out of craft glue and permanent glue, and that would be like a three to one ratio. And then I just painted it on the bottom of our uh, platter there, and then laid the burlap right on top of it, smoothing out all the wrinkles, and then we weighed it down with some books and set it aside to let it dry completely. And this is what it looks like, all dry there can see. Ah, nice. Okay, so the next thing I did, we need something to hang this up with. So, on the back, I have some um, ribbon that I hot glued on either side like this, and uh, I just wanted to tell you that I did it in two places. I hot glued it there, and then I left a space, and then I hot glued it down here too. Just to give it a little extra support there. This will be in the kitchen. I'm hanging this in the kitchen. It might get, you know, steam or something. I don't know, just to make it uh, a little more sturdy there. And uh, I used some uh, some Valentine's Day ribbon to do that with. <laughs> now you can always use um, those little sawtooth um, picture holders too as well. They'll nail right in there. There's plenty of space there. But especially if you're using a plastic tray like the ones we saw earlier, you're gonna wanna hot glue something to hang it up with, okay? All right. So so the next step, we're going to be decorating this. We're going to be uh, attaching things to this. And you know, I wanted something, you know, of course, like kitchen-y, maybe food and Valentine's-y, like maybe, I don't know, cupcakes or donuts or something like that. So I found these at the Dollar Tree. They are, it's table scatter, but they're, they're felt hearts, all different kinds in there. And then I found these cupcakes. Yes, Valentine's Day cupcakes with felt. So what we're gonna do though, we want them, here, let me get one out here, there we go. So what we're gonna be doing is, we're gonna be putting them on here, but I want them to stand out a little bit. I don't want them to just be flat on the back. So grab yourself a pack of our nifty little blocks there, the wooden blocks, and we're just going to hot glue a block to the back of each one. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to attach them to our tray. Now to attach them to the tray, what I did was I measured halfway across evenly there and I put a little mark there with um, uh, a dry erase pen there. And I did the same on the side here. And then that'll just give me like a center you know, like thing to work with here. So I think we're gonna do three rows across and three rows down with these. And I think I'll alternate the hearts with the cupcakes. So let's do it. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get all of my hearts and my um, 
cupcakes ready to go on by gluing our little block to the back of them. Just like that. <laughs> and of course, you know, repeat, repeat, repeat with the rest of our stuff here. Ta-da! <laughs> that was fast, wasn't it? <laughs> all the magic of TV, right? So all of our little, uh, all of our little cupcakes and hearts are ready to go. So now we'll get our tray out here that and remember we have our marks here and our marks here to give us the center so what I'm gonna do is since this is the center let's see we're gonna do three across I mean we're gonna do five across because this is a larger tray and we'll do three down that's what we'll do okay so that's right in the center that's right in the center our cupcake and Oh, perfect. Yeah, I think I think that'll be great. So what we're going to do is we're going to alternate our cupcakes with our hearts. Do, do, do that one right there. Oh, oh, gosh, if you're OCD at all, oh, just be forewarned. This could take forever, but I think this looks good. All right, so now they're all in place. Time to hot glue them on. Ta-da! Again! <laughs> ah! Looks cool. I like the way it looks. All right, for our finishing touch. Oh yes, I have some red glitter glue here and I'm just going to go like every so often, we're just gonna like, gonna kind of give it a little bit of glitter there. Uh, maybe not all over, or maybe we will do it all over. We shall see. Okay, one more time, ta-da! <laughs> Okay, there we go. So I uh, uh, now this uh, this will uh, this type of glue will dry clear uh, and leave the leave the glitter on there. I kind of hope it stays you know dark in these certain places here. So, but I guess we shall see as it dries. Huh? Oh, there's a big glob there. But anyway, I got it. Uh, so I got it on the background and along the edges here of uh, whoops of our. Um, of our platter just so you can see it there and really all that's all there is to it and yeah that that really that's all there is to it do you like do you like it i don't know i think it looks kind of cool nice simple you know um pretty like up close there so now all we're gonna do is let her dry and then we can go hang her up yeah you know what the heck with it we're not gonna let her dry let's go hang her up Ooh. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Here it is, okay. So, I think I measured this right. We shall see, I suppose. Oh, it looks cute. Oh, it looks cute. <laughs> oh, I do like how it turned out. You know, something simple, inexpensive, and fun to make. And now we have a little decor for Valentine's Day. And like I said earlier, uh, this project, the, the end piece would be perfect really for any room of the house. I mean, especially in place of a wreath on the front door. I would just, I don't know, maybe recommend turning it long ways, you know, and hanging it on the door. It'd be really, really cute that way. So anyway, well, you know what? We are in the kitchen and we are decorated for Valentine's Day. I think we should make a sweet for our sweet. Sounds good to me. Oh, you know, this recipe, well, this is a requested recipe for sure by many people, and I, I think it's just perfect for Valentine's Day, y'all. We're gonna make a flourless chocolate tart. Oh, yes, yeah, so let's get started. We have here a nine inch springform pan, which we sprayed with non cooked cooking spray, and we've also lined the bottom with some parchment paper there. Now, as far as our ingredients go, right here we have six large eggs at room temperature. We have a half of a cup of sugar. We have some vanilla here. We're gonna need about a teaspoon. And then I have powdered sugar and cocoa here, and that's to dust our tort when we're all done with it. Now, over here on the stove, I have a pot with some simmering water in there, and we're gonna put a bowl on top of it, like this. 
that. And in this bowl, guess what's in here? <laughs> well, chocolate, of course. Come on, get in there. There we go. And uh, we have 12 ounces of bittersweet chocolate. And you could use the, the stick chocolate, the bar chocolate, or bags of chocolate chips. I have Hershey's Special Dark, and that's 60%. Ooh, yes. And in addition to that, we have a stick and a half of butter, also at room temperature, um, which we had cubed up. And we're just going to uh, keep this over the simmering water and keep stirring it until it's nice and melted and smooth and creamy. Shouldn't take that long. Coming along here. Ooh, it looks good. I switched that bowl out. I got a bigger one, definitely. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's what we are looking for, melted chocolate and butter. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna take our, our we're gonna take our bowl off of a saucepan and set it aside there uh, to let that cool slightly. Oh, and just you know, when you're doing this uh, double boiler thing, you only need a couple inches of water. You don't want the water to touch the bowl. You know, I just want to make sure that we knew that. So on to our next step. So in a large bowl, we're gonna combine all of our eggs, our sugar, and a pinch of salt. And a pinch of salt, like, literally, like, like an eighth of a teaspoon of salt in there, okay? And then we're gonna mix this up on medium-high speed uh, until it's like real light, pale, and smooth. And that could take anywhere from about five to six minutes, okay? Nice, huh? And that's exactly what you're looking for there. Oh, it's so cool, isn't it? <laughs> All right, so now at this point we can stir in our vanilla and that's about one teaspoon of, uh, of vanilla there. And all you gotta do is just stir it in just, just to incorporate it. Um, and that's perfect. <laughs> okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to gently stir in half of our chocolate mixture about that much there, okay? And we're just gonna do that on low speed. Ooh, okay, and then we'll stir in the other half of our chocolate. We just put it all in at once like that. And then we're just gonna mix it until it's, uh, just until it's incorporated. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. It smells so good. Yes, I know I said it again. It smells so good, it does. Hey, when I invent smell o vision I'm gonna be a millionaire. <laughs> See, Vanda thinks so. <laughs> All right, so now uh, we are done, and what I like to do here is uh, I like to take the bowl off there and uh, you know, just give it, make sure we got all the chocolate. If there's any at the bottom. Oh no, this looks very, very good. All right, so. Now, we're going to just pour this into our prepared pan. Okay, so get ready to have your house smell so good, you will not believe it. We're going to bake this in a 350 degree oven until the top is no longer shiny, and you put a toothpick in the center of it, and it comes out with, like, you know, a few crumbs on it, and it's just, it's not so jiggly at all, and that'll be anywhere between 30 and 40 minutes. Now, definitely check it. 30 minutes because, you know, all ovens are a little bit different, and this, you definitely don't want to overbake it, okay? Ooh. Oh my, all right, so the next thing we're gonna do, we have to let her cool down completely before we release those sides and take her out of the pan and put her on our pretty little platter, okay? There we go, she's all cool and ready to go and I have her on a white platter here. And now to finish things off, we have some, some cocoa and we have some powdered sugar here and we are just going to, um, we're going to really, really, uh, put some powdered uh, cocoa all over, like pretty heavy there, and we're gonna go all the way around our platter too. You know what I say, it's all about the presentation. <laughs> and then let's finish off with just 
a sprinkle or two. Oops, look, I better keep the lid on there. Okay, there we go. And then we're just gonna add some powdered sugar over the top of it as well. Oh, goodness. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, wow. You know what? Serve this with some, some fresh berries would be really nice. Um, oh my gosh, this is this is like so indulgent. Just wait till you taste it. And there you have it, our flourless chocolate tart. <laughs>
My goodness! <laughs> well, I'd say we had some fun tonight. How about you? Oh, oh, I did. I had a really good time tonight. Oh, man. How about that chocolate tort, y'all? Oh, it's so good. I'm so happy that I finally shared that recipe. It's it, it's quite easy. Um, and I've made it so many times. It, it's, it's really delicious. Think of like, it's like a a cross between like a cake, oh, it's not really a cake, uh, and a brownie, and it's not really a bread. It's like the best ever gourmet, soft, indulgent, dark chocolate brownie you've ever had. But it's not a brownie, though. I can't, I don't even know how to explain it. You just gotta make it. You really do. <laughs> it's awesome, you know. And I hope you all enjoyed our little DIY, too. It's, uh, it was a lot of fun to make. So, um, anyway, okay. Well, I think I've, I've kept you long enough today. But, uh, I'd say we're, like, well on our way to celebrating Valentine's Day. What do you think? <laughs> and, uh, you know what? We're gonna have more. We have uh, a few more um, Valentine's Day episodes coming up with more recipes and more DIYs and uh, including, oh yeah, Mark versus Steve is back. Oh yes, and we're gonna be doing, you know, Valentine's Day dinner. Ooh, that's gonna be a fun one. All right, and, all right, all right. So I'm gonna stop yapping away here. Um, Thank you so much for spending your time with me this evening. Um, it really does mean the world to me. It does. I, uh, I you know, I, I'm very, um, I'm very thankful that I have not only a place where I can be creative, but that I can kind of show that creativity too. And if it can inspire somebody maybe to, to, to make something either in the kitchen or as a DIY, all the better for real. And if you do make anything, definitely shoot us a picture, okay? We got to get those uh, viewer pictures up. We'll do that this week. I know I've been saying it for a couple weeks now. I got to get them all together and, and, and show them off. We have a few. They're, they're cute. <laughs> All right, thank you again, everybody, for watching. Definitely hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you'll know when we have a new video coming out. All of our contact information is right down below. That's our, our post office box and our email address. If you have any questions on anything we did today, just shoot me an email, okay? Check us out over on Facebook, X, and Instagram. Thank you again, everybody. You have a fantastic week, and I'll see you next time. All right, ciao! <laughs>